Hi, here's an update on my tweeting cat's bowl. I'm using a Arduino clone, which is an Ether 10, which has got an Ethernet connection and a micro SD card, connected to a um, 2 by 16 LCD screen, and on the end of that, coming into the analog reading sensor, I've got a force sensitive resistor. I'll just talk you through the setup. What would happen ordinarily is that the Arduino would be powered from a power point and have an ethernet cable running into the side but I'm just doing a quick demonstration for the moment, I'll set it up in a minute and from here we've got the force sensitive resistor on a jig I've made to orientate the cat's bowl to the FSR in a consistent fashion and I'll just go into the uh, theory behind the FSR and what goes on there I had a lot of problems trying to get a consistent reading off the force sensitive resistor. When I placed the bowl on it, and I'll show you this shortly, I'd get a different reading every time I put the empty bowl on the resistor and, and figured that the variation in the uh, bowl, the edge of it, and the amount of area hitting the FSR would vary and give different readings. So what I've done is produce this jig to try and keep the uh, force sensitive resistor in alignment with the bowl as consistently as possible and to stop the bowl from jiggling about. The manufacturers told me that it's probably best if I place a piece of foam over the resistor and I've got another piece on the jig as well just to balance up the bowl so it doesn't tilt and the bowl's just placed on the guiding dowels and I've got a little marker on the front to indicate where it's best to line up but uh, eventually I'll put a sticker on there so that the bowl sits snugly within the four dowels it can it moves a little bit up and down so that the um, the bowl can still r resist or produce a resistance on the FSR and uh, take a measurement let's see it in operation so it counts down I put the bowl on and it's taking a zero reading of the bowl in the empty state takes an average reading over 10 seconds it sets the minimum it then says add food to bowl we get a message saying that the quantity is enough <clears throat> then it starts taking some more readings to find out what the maximum is maximum force not weight and we get a range and then it starts going into average mode where it um, takes a reading, uh, 60 readings over a um, short period of time, I can't remember what it was, and it gives you a span there on the screen. So it works out how much is full, and on the left hand side bottom is 456 the minimum, current reading in the middle, and the highest max on the right and it continues to sit here reading until it drops to a level I determine which I've said 45 percent and at that point it will then start tweeting. But as you can see the numbers are kind of flip-flopping all over the place it's slowly climbing up to the 100 percent mark that's uh, a bit of an issue I've got with um, the response and sensitivity I've increased the delay between the readings it used to be 0.1 of a second now it's uh, a hundredth of a second 60 one hundredths of a second it takes a reading and gives an average figure. Uh, I'd prefer a median figure than an average, but I'll settle for that. So basically, it's this here now, and look, it's dropped to 46%. It's about to start tweeting. The cat eats off it, and yeah. The problem I'm getting is that the uh, numbers are not consistent. I've just filled the bowl, it's saying it's 85% full, uh, but you can see the percentages are sort of going up and down and doesn't seem to be following a great trend and the other problem I find is that if it maxes at 511 and then I pull out all the food it doesn't go back to 434 or 0% it, it's way above that say 60% it's it's not very accurate so I think it could be that it's uh, the non-linear part of the curves affecting the um, results I'm getting uh, FSRs tend to be non-linear in the initial um, part of the response curve so I believe that's about a 500 gram weight to get past that uh, initial part of the curve and then go to the linear 
section of it. And I was hoping that the cat's bowl alone would be enough to produce a linear response, but uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. I can easily weight the bowl to make it a 500 grams at a weight and give it a more linear response, and it's an easy enough thing to try, but um, you can see we're at 93% full. And uh, if we just leave it run now, the cat will come along and eat it and it drops to 45% and um, it'll tweet. And uh, I can show you some tweets on my phone now. Once the bowl gets to 45%, it starts tweeting every two minutes. If you tweet faster than two minutes to Twitter, it will um, exclude you. So uh, the other thing you can't do is repeat the same message over and over. So what I've had to do is come up with a string with a number of responses in it and the responses change as time goes on at the moment there's not much of a delay between them but what I intend to do is have a um, longer delay of say half an hour to an hour between each tweet so that um, my nephews will get the message and come and see the cat and hopefully feed him okay slowly the FSR has gone up to a hundred percent and what I'm going to do now is just pull some food out of it and we'll see the response. Okay, I've just taken a big handful of food out of the bowl. Whoops, it's dropped to minus 9%. That's not good. So obviously it's going to start trying to tweet now, but uh, it can't because um, I haven't got it on the ethernet because I was kind of sick of getting tweeted all the time. Um, one other thing I've also noticed, another issue is that uh, depending on where the food is in the bowl, I get a different reading. So if I fill the bowl, I can get a different reading if I just keep the same amount of food in there but just shuffle the amount of food in there around the bowl away from the FSR or towards it uh, and I can get significant readings if I just give it a gentle little nudge on the edge so very sensitive but it's just trying to get that sensitivity in a, a way that I can uh, get a consistent sort of or meaningful reading. Okay it's been a little while I've thrown some food back in and it's back on range it's tried to tweet but obviously can't because it's not on the ethernet. So this project is a proof of concept. Uh, the concept being that I could have this set up at uh, one of our labs and instead of having maybe an FSR attached I could have a pH probe, an ORP probe, um, temperature sensor, anything like that and when it gets to a critical level it can then tweet and tell you hey your experiment's done whatever or the tanks need to be refueled. So if I had perhaps a small tank of um, a noxious chemical that was corrosive and I didn't want to have to have a sensor in the container, I could put an FSR under it and indirectly kind of measure the weight of the tank, although it's not a weight sensor, it's a force sensor. So that's the idea. Um, and uh, I've had partial success. I can sit here and manually pull food out of the bowl and make a tweet, but there's just a few sensitivity issues I'm having and hopefully I can overcome those and come up with a very reliable system. Why is the subject himself? What do you think Jojo? Are you going to eat from it? Does it look trustworthy or are you going to be electrocuted? Yeah, non-response.